Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga, I'm Ali and today is day 12 of our love yoga journey, can you believe it, we're 12 days in, good job, and today's class is going to be fun because today's theme is going to be adventure, life is an adventure and sometimes we forget that it is an adventure because we get too caught up in the small details or too stressed out, too fearful, so we focus more on the fear and less on the adventure aspect of it, and let's face it, life is short, and if we don't experience the magical side of it that feels like an adventure, like a fairy tale, then we're just going to miss out on the beauty of life. We're going to miss out on all the fun stuff we could have experienced while we were worried, right? So today, after we embarked on a journey and faced our challenges and we had to go um, through some healing and searching within, inner through searching, we decided to continue on this path, on this journey, and we decided to look at it as an adventure. And that is the theme today. So bring it into your heart and remind yourself that this class is an adventure, a fun adventure, and life is also the same thing even if sometimes things look scary it is still an adventure and let's remember to flow with strength and ease going to begin at the front of the mat. Today's class is going to be a little bit out of the box, a little less traditional yoga and more interval yoga because we're gonna have fun. Do as much as you can, rest as much as you need to, this is not a competition, this is purely a place of self-exploration, learning, growing and just developing a deeper self-awareness, right? Body awareness as well. All right, starting at the front of the mat, roll the shoulders back and down. And as you roll uh, the shoulders back, drop the shoulder blades down into the back. You can open the palms of the hands forward, which allows for the chest to be open. And close your eyes for a moment. Take a moment to scan the body, to feel your body, to witness your body. Taking nice deep inhalations and complete exhalations. Pull the belly in and now engaging Mula Bandha. Mula Bandha is the Kegel muscle or let's say when you are trying to stop yourself from peeing, that's kind of what we're looking for here. So we are retaining the energy and using the pelvic floor, strengthening the pelvic floor during yoga, which enhances the practice and it also gives you a lot of health benefits. So as you inhale, engaging Mula Bandha, which is the root chakra, root, sometimes called root lock. And as you exhale, you can relax. Engaging also the core, the belly button pulls in and up, which is the TVA muscle, the deep abdominal muscle, the deep abdominal wall. And that's not the six pack, that is the deep underneath muscles. Continue with this breath, feeling your core, Feeling your pelvic floor as well. The pelvic floor is a big, big, big part of your core. Without a strong pelvic floor, there is no strong core and sometimes that's the missing element. Inhale the hands all the way over the head. Exhale the hands over the heart, creating an intention for the class. To look at your yoga practice as a fun adventure, even when the class is serious or 
light or challenging it doesn't matter to look at it as a, a beautiful blessing and an adventure an opportunity for growth and to take that understanding into your life and to look at your life with the eyes of a baby of a child with oh bend the knees and sit back in chair pose push the body as far back as you can sit deeper pull the belly in and lift the chest away from the thighs keep shifting the hips back engaging the core here inhale coming up and arching so you're going to pull the belly in you can engage mula banda keep your core connected and lengthen the back don't try to push back into the lower back but rather elongate the back exhale the hands over the heart shift the weight onto the right leg and we're going to bend the right knee and take the left leg this is an isometric move so you're going to squeeze your hip muscles this is a hip strengthening move 10 times one two three four five six seven eight really squeeze nine ten and from here we're going to bend the knee kind of like a exotic bird <laughs> and shift back into warrior three good you can do far more things with your body than you realized you can and that's part of the lesson in yoga step it back big step back high lunge and we're going to lower the left knee to the ground 10 times squeezing the right leg and booty one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten big breath in open the arms out twist to the right look over your right thumb inhale back up exhale the left hand down right arm spins up twist here feel the twist reach over the head with the right hand exhale both hands down plank lower down onto your knees lower down onto your belly inhale cobra exhale down dog inhale the left leg up step it through and bend the left knee come up high lunge and we're going to lower the right knee down one two three four five keep the left knee over the ankle seven eight nine and ten open the arms out twist over to your left look over the left thumb inhale forward exhale the right hand on the ground spin the left arm up and optional over the head if you reach over the head feel the length from the fingertips into the heel a long line look down here and we're going to bring both hands on the floor step the right foot next to the left at the front of the mat exhale keep the knees slightly bent forward fold
bend the knees, chair. Go a little deeper in your chair, challenge yourself a little bit. Think of it as fun rather than, oh my God, I hate this pose <laughs> or <laughs> I hate this teacher. Think of it as, oh my goodness, I can do this. I can so do this. Inhale, coming up and hands over the heart, bend the left knee. Let's do a few squeezes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And we're going to bring the feet about hip width apart. Take chair one more time. And again, think of this. Oh my God, I love, 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 love this pose. hands over the heart, shifting the weight onto the right leg. We're going to take the left leg back in warrior three. Great, hands on the floor and step back in plank. Lower the knees down, lower down onto your belly, cobra. Down, dog, tuck your toes under. Tailbone lifting as high as possible. Shoulders away from the ears. Inhale the right leg up. Step the right foot between the hands. High lunge, come up. And we're gonna bring the hands on the hips and take 10 step ins, keeping the right knee bent as we do that. So try to keep it as bent as you can. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 and now we're going to step in high lunge hands on the hips again and we're gonna kick the back leg up trying to keep the front knee bent as much as we can let's go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten the next one will be, we're getting a burn here, will be stepping to the front onto the right leg and bringing the knee to the elbow up. One, step it back. Two, three, four, five, squeeze the belly. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Good job. And nope, we're not done with this side. We're going to step onto the right foot again. Take the left leg behind in a cross lunge. So your knee should be still back. Cross lunge, bend the knee down rather than in some, at some angle, extending the tailbone slightly down so the hip flexor is stretching. Step it out and do that hip squeeze, strengthening the hips. So one, give me one rep, all the way up to 10, whatever you want. Two, three, four, five, six for an adventure. You need strong legs <laughs> because adventure is transition, walking, moving from one place to another, symbolically. All right, last one, squeeze, 
step it down. If you need to shake that leg, shake it. Shake the hips. Shake the knees and the legs. And you can shake the whole body. Just kind of feeling how this releases the tension in the muscles. Try to be silly. Good. All right, that felt good. If, if you were shy about doing it, do it next time. It feels really good in the body. You just release some of the tension in the fascia, in the connective tissue. Hands over the heart. Coming back to the core, Mula Banda and the intention for this class, to have fun, to look at it as an adventure. It's a blessing that we're able to be here. Bend the knees slightly and exhale with a straight back forward fold. Here you can bend the knees and move the upper body side to side, kind of loosening up the obliques. Ah, great. Step it back, plank. Knees on the ground, cobra. Down dog. Inhale the left leg up, step it through, bend the left knee, come up, straight back, high lunge. And we're going to take 10 step ins. You can bring your hands on the hips, it's a little easier than balancing the arms over the head, that involves a little more core and obviously back and shoulder work. But if you want to challenge yourself, you can, of course, and let's go. One, two, keep the left knee over the ankle. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and we're going to kick back. One, two, really engage the right side booty the left side again, booty and leg, squeeze, three, four core, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And now we're gonna do step-ins, elbow to knee, really pulling the belly in the core. One, and balancing, two, you're strong, you can, four, you can totally get through this if you breathe, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, <laughs> and now we're gonna go for the cross lunge, you can do it, that's the whole point is that adventure sometimes can be challenging, but we have to look at it as an adventure. All right. Step back and side. And lower the knee down, straight down. And come up and squeeze. Two. Squeeze. Three. Squeeze. Four. Squeeze. Five. Squeeze six, squeeze, seven, squeeze, eight, squeeze, nine, squeeze, and 10, squeeze, step it down and just give your body a shake. So the thighs are shaking, you feel it through the hips and the core, and even into the ribcage and belly. 
<laughs> shoulders back Ooh, good all right guess what your favorite pose for today <laughs> is feet parallel to each other chair take the tailbone slightly here and push it back lift the chest hold and exhale the hands behind you straighten the legs clasping the hands forward bent not completely straightening the legs you can always leave a comfortable mini bend bend the knees keep the hands clasping or you can grab your shirt behind and we're going to open the right shoulder up towards the ceiling center left center hands on the ground plank spread the fingers open here we're going to bring the right knee into the chest and across stepping the foot across back and step it back in plank let's go 10 times one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and you can rest either in down dog or in child's pose before the second side pause the video rest or keep going if you want to one squeeze the belly two three four five six seven eight squeeze nine and ten all right well deserved child's pose bring your hands by your heels forehead to the floor let your shoulders drop inhale the hands over the head look ahead of you keep your hips back and down and walk your hands over to the right and breathe into that left rib cage and let's walk over to the opposite side breathe into the right rib cage And back to center exhale take your toes under let's go down dog lifting the tailbone as high as you can you can keep a mini or a big bend in the knees inhale the right leg up and here we're going to step the right foot between the hands drop the back heel down bend the right knee and come up warrior one
hands over the heart, lower the chest over the right leg and shift into warrior three one more time. Level the hips once you're in warrior. You can, you can feel your hips in space, level them. Step it back in high lunge. Hands clasping over the head and keep your hips square and level. And we're going to reach over to the right and you feel this all the way into the hip flexor down into the quadriceps it's a beautiful stretch very beneficial coming out of this hands in prayer left elbow on the outside of the right knee twist here you can keep your back knee down or off the floor. Great. Release and bring your hands on the inside of the right foot. Walk your back knee further back. Right knee either above the ankle or behind. And stretch here. You're stretching the hip flexor on the left side mostly. But also it can be uh, hamstrings, uh, adductors abductors, hips, beautiful, step it back, tuck your toes under, down dog, Inhale the left leg up and we're going to step it through, drop the back heel down, bend the left knee, straight back, come up, warrior one, facing forward and the hips working forward. Nothing has to ever be completely square, it's just a general direction. Think of your body as spirals and the general direction here is a spiraling line here that rotates the right hip internally and spirals down the leg so that the heel is generally wanting to reach down that doesn't mean it will touch the floor it's just we're feeling the direction of the pose and how the body is working rather than wanting to get to a pose that's never the goal hands over the heart, lower down and shift into warrior three. So here we're gonna level the hips. Lift that back heel up, engaging the leg here. The right leg is working to lift the leg, to lift the heel. Bend the knee and step it back in high lunge. And here the hands are clasping. Reach over to your left, extend the tailbone down and feel that stretch going all the way. Soas, IT bend, hip flexors, groin muscles. Everything is stretching here in a beautiful way. Letting go, allowing the stretch to happen through surrender yield you can look up beautiful hands in prayer right elbow on the outside of the left knee you can keep your knee down or off the floor soften relax the shoulders keep them away from the ear and try to keep the chest open here inhale <clears throat> coming up and you can lower the hands on the inside of your left foot 
walking the right knee back and feeling that stretch deepening. This can give you a really, really good relief, posture relief if you have problems with your posture and aches and pains in the lower back. This can be one of the very helpful poses. All right. Coming out of this, I'll give you the other very helpful pose. Step your feet somewhat wider than hip width, or hip width apart on the outer edges of towards the outer edges of the mat, and those pointing out. Hands in prayer. Elbows pressing into the knees to open the knees. So this again stretches the groin muscles and releases the lower back. Since the hands are over the heart, let's come back to the intention for the class to keep that outlook on life and on our daily adventures as things that are fun, as a journey that's enhancing us. To be more childlike in our approach to things. All right, hands at the front of the mat, straighten the legs, step them back in down dog. Plank, lower down, inhale cobra, exhale down dog. Inhale the right leg up, step it through and straight back coming up, high lunge. Now, here I'll give you two variations of the next interval. And the first one is no impact, stepping to the front and maybe giving a little kick forward. But when you kick forward, don't swing and swing the leg and kind of flap the knee. You're going to spread the toes open and either kick with the ball of your foot or if you're kicking a little higher with the heel and stepping back, right? All right. And the other one, the other variation is that the, the first is the beginner. This is the little more challenging. It's going to be jumping to the front knee up. You can do knee to elbow. But there is going to be a hop here and back. And the third one is the most challenging. I'll do the third one, but don't feel the pressure to do the third one. Try the first and if it's too easy, then transition to the second variation. And then the third, the third is jump in place, knee hop. Step it back, jump in place, knee hop. And this whole thing is one. All right, let's do somewhere around 10 reps, but don't try to be particular about it. Just do whatever you can. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, whatever you did, perfect. Step it back, let the burn happen, breathe into it. Hands over the heart, yes, this was an adventure and a good one. And exhale the left hand down, right arm up. 
twisting. All right, step it back. Plank. Cobra. Down dog. Inhale the left leg up. Step it through, same thing. Straight back, coming up. Doing either the first variation or the second or a combination of the two or the third or a combination of all three. Anywhere from one to 10 reps. You decide. Let's go. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. Step it back. Reach over the head. Exhale the right hand on the floor, left arm reaches up. Try not to rest on your hand or on your wrist or on your shoulder. Engage the legs, reaching up. Exhale down and this time step your feet to the front. One more time, that beautiful yogic squat. Feel free to do this in your office. If you're sitting for too long, if your back is cramping, if you feel like you're driving a lot and your hips are always closed, you never open them, which is a very natural position for humans. Cross leg, get seated, pose on the floor is a natural way of sitting. So feel free to do this during your day. Just like a little yoga squat, yoga break to make everybody laugh. <laughs> but that's the whole point. Make people laugh, lighten things up. We don't have to all be so proper. All right, speaking of laughing, I'm gonna make you totally break out of your shell. Coming up, step your feet out. In between plie and squat. So in between, kind of a, like a white squat, feet pointing out, and we're gonna kind of duck walk towards the back. Totally funny looking, I know, I get it. But I found that the funny looking poses are the one that will give you the most acceptance of yourself because you just don't care anymore. And this one happens to be really strengthening to the leg. So you're gonna end up with really strong legs. Not bulky, very strong though. Strong leg muscles and legs is one of the factors for longevity. They also burn a lot more calories so they keep us lean into old age. Because legs and glutes are the biggest muscles in the human body. So they give us a better burn, better metabolic rate, and prevention from injuries, from weak musculature. Keep walking, keep being funny. You can bring the arms in. And you think you're done, but nope, you're not. Coming to the front, you can give your legs a shake, hips a shake, and we're gonna go for the burn. Step it out in a squat position, lower down and hop up or lower down and come up, press your hips forward, push the booty forward extending the tailbone down. So either a hop or not a hop. Choose your setting, whatever your body wants. Maybe today you do no hopping, 
but you'll come back to this class two months from now or a couple of times in between and you do the hopping variation all right one and one more thing keep pushing the knees back if you have knee injuries really push the knees back don't jump if you really have bad knees you can sit on a wall with the knees over the ankles but if if you're good with it you're strong you can go a little lower than hip width apart so the body can lower as long as you can keep your back straight so the back has to be straight if you start curving then stay a little higher and give me that funny look that popped booty look so let's go one little too long of a prelude but i hope you rested during it five six seven eight nine ten take the length of your mat and we're gonna step the right foot out bend the knee push the knee back booty back step it back in one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and step it all the way on the other side left leg steps out knee bends one straight back two look ahead of you towards the horizon five six seven eight nine ten shake it out and we're gonna take a proper plie why not plie so you're going to step out the feet are going to follow the knees not the other way around and because we can't so if you can't if you're not really open through the inner thighs then your plie, plie will look a little closed in so then don't rotate your feet out if your knees are not out that puts a lot of torque in the knees because we're not aligning the joints so part of yoga is learning how your body works and paying attention to the joints to the alignment to how it feels the alignment lower down in plie and come back up one two three keep pushing the knees back four five six seven eight nine ten hold and pose on the lower setting here on the lower station one two three four five six seven eight nine now hold it and we're going to reach to one side and then to the other reach 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 and something fun hands over the thighs open the elbows out press into your right hand and look over the left shoulder sometimes you can even hear a crack in your back because it's almost like a self-adjustment opposite side one more time opposite side good let's step to the front how are your legs doing chair yeah your favorite pose love this pose you know it's all about the story we tell ourselves and lower down into squat if you can otherwise sit down either way sit down on the floor soles of the feet together straighten the back and <clears throat> let's step on the feet bring the hands behind us fingers pointing towards us and we're gonna press the hips up 
and this is either our last interval or one to last we'll see how the energy is so I can, I can kind of feel the energy in the future when you're watching this class <laughs> all right one two we are bringing the right hand to the left foot and keeping the body really lifted when we do that and that really engages the back six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty lower down grab your shin bones sit back with a really really straight back in a spinal curvature and here we're going to reach between the legs palms of the hands facing or clasping the hands you can point your index fingers and maintain that spinal curvature that's the main goal here I just stay here reach side to side really squeezing the belly squeeze I just stay here reach side to side left center right center left center right center left right left right left right left right left right left right and round the back slowly lower down onto your back let's step the feet about hip width apart bring your elbows on the floor hands lifting up palms of the hands facing each other drop the shoulders down that outer rim of the shoulder is spinning down towards the floor so in essence it opens the chest without artificially popping it up but naturally giving us this open chest and lift the hips open heart open chest metaphors are usually for a reason you can bring now your hands underneath you clasp them and shimmy the shoulders press the hips even higher press into the inner and outer ridges of your feet you can lift your toes and keep lifting here great lower down let's bring the right knee in and across from the body supine twist right shoulder on the floor inhale coming out of this opposite side inhale out of this knees can come in together right hand onto the belly left hand onto the heart sometimes when our posture collapses forward it is because our heart is not fully giving and receiving and it's not exuberant so breathing into the heart (sighs) 
let's bend the knees lift the legs in the air bring the hands behind the knees and begin to rock back and forth here gentle rocks or bigger rocks whatever feels good massaging the spine being playful and coming all the way up to a seated pose cross-legged seated you can bring your fingertips through your hair and just give it a little massage a firm touch without too much pushing but a firm pressure even a little bit into the temples over the eyebrows again a firm touch over the nose these are the sinuses very good also for sinus pressure or uh, headaches or in general it improves our breathing which is so important all right in front of the ears very light pressure here because those are lymph nodes and we just want to tap them enough to where the lymph is draining if you push too hard you are past the surface lymphatic system lymphatic nodes behind the ears you can you can actually split your hands and have one or two fingers in front of the ear and the rest behind same light pressure applies good and here we're going to tap right above the collarbone just a gentle tapping that's the main drainage for the lymphatic system so we're finishing the class with a little spa self-care you don't always have to ex expect from others spa services you can pamper yourself even for one minute a day it will slow you down slow the heart rate down make you feel good all right hands on the knees round the back look towards your belly open the chest vibrant heart arch look up round and arch and lengthen the back of the neck round and arch and let's reach side to side one more time so that we're extra tall today after class we tall we walk tall into the world beautiful inhale the hands over the head exhale them over the third eye and over the heart sealing the benefits of the practice today and let's bow to our hearts for their forgiveness compassion and love thank you all for joining me today for this class i was a little out of the box but nonetheless good for the body to get a little circulation going share it with anyone that you think might benefit from it because sharing is caring no sharing is one of the best ways to support the channel and the other one is to subscribe and all the other good stuff let me know how the classes feel for you and like and all the good stuff and i hope you're feeling rejuvenated now strong legs and i'll see you tomorrow with another class it's a surprise what it will be thank you again for joining me today i appreciate each and every one of you remember to flow with strength and ease namaste <laughs>